Hi everybody, welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. My name is John and I live in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. I've been testing beta since October 24th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a regular viewer, thanks so much for all of your support. Really appreciate you. I'm very curious to hear what you think in the comments of this video about this test. I'm comparing night driving versus day driving. I'm driving in a neighborhood that's supposed to be very quiet. During the day, you saw two cars just pass by there that threw a little bit of a wrench in this test. And then as well, right when we make this right turn, we have some cars coming. So that again was another unwanted variable. In addition to the fact that this drive started out in the on the side of the road by someone's driveway. And I had to take a stab at matching up that starting point identically and going back in the editing I realized I was off by maybe you know 10 meters it wasn't too much but it was enough to kind of negate this test so uh, you know unfortunately I can't really you know leverage this for comparison but we do arrive after 1 minute and 17 seconds so it is identical as far as its arrival time this next test is a little bit better, but we run into another issue. So first thing to note, the starting point is 100% identical. I actually overlaid these graphics and the markings in the road matched up perfectly. So everything is exactly identical. Now watch as the car moves down this street, you can line up with your eyes, the driveways, there, the snow had melted a little bit in, in the day, you know, after a, maybe one or two days where I, I waited before doing this next test. Uh, so the day drive was, was filmed after the night drive. But right here, you can see it's making this turn. Everything is identical. And the, the, the turn there uh, was a little bit quicker during the day. But watch this now. At night, as cars coming, I'm going left. And the car decides to speed up to get in front of this car. It actually makes the move to, to go down this road. I thought that was really, really neat. But because of that, because of that variable, we were three seconds faster at night. Now, in general, based on my overall experience, night driving is identical to day driving. I haven't really noticed any degradation at night versus the day. But this video proves that wrong here coming up. First of all, I decide to leave beta on knowing that this is a dead end and I'm curious to see what happens. And sure enough, I get a message saying, unable to complete maneuver, please assist now. So I did have to take over manually. And because of that, this next starting point wasn't identical either. So I match up the videos here coming through this intersection. So right now, at this point in the video, we are identical. So the right matches the left. And you can, again, kind of look at the trees passing, some of the driveways. Everything is perfectly identical. So the, these straightaways, I, I don't really notice any differences, except for the fact that during the day, watch this, the yellow lines in the middle of the road keep popping into display, whereas that doesn't happen as often at night. It does happen a couple times, but not nearly as much. I can't explain that. I really don't know why, because there are no lines on this road, but that seems to be a trend at day where different things pop into, into display. Now at night, you can see here, the ultrasonic sensors are kind of popping in. It's, it's showing like there's some stuff around the car and that happens more at night than it does during the day. Unfortunately, right here, the reason why I have to take this out completely and there's no timer running, at night, watch this, a car ends up coming and interrupting the flow. So the night drive gets way behind the day drive here. Really unfortunate there. So I threw that one out completely. Now from here, this starting point is identical and the driving conditions, everything is the same. This is the one of the best tests I have here. Now watch this, during the day, it makes this turn. It actually goes for it quicker than it does at night. Now, overall, in a lot of my videos where I test driving in residential neighborhoods, it's very slow to go through intersections. Now, again, you're going to see these yellow lines popping into the display during the day. I really can't explain that. But in general, they, they operate the same in my experience. But this video, based on this comparison here, proves to me that the day, the day driving acts a little bit quicker. So here I arrive three seconds ahead of the night drive. This is the last and final test, and it proves once again that the day driving is a little bit better. 
you're going to see here we start out at the exact same spot. There's no other variables here uh, to account for. I mean, the traffic is identical. You know, we don't run into any cars. Here it makes this turn during the day faster than it does at night. And even before getting to that turn, it was already a little bit ahead. Now, I had the speed offset and the speed limit. Everything was identical. There were no other differences in the settings. I did have this on the assertive setting. In my experience, any setting other than the assertive just isn't uh, natural enough. So here I ended up arriving five seconds earlier during the day versus the night. So overall, I would say that based on these results, day driving is a little bit smoother, a little bit better than night driving. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy my videos. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.